Tonight on Reporting Scotland, the crisis at Hearts deepens as the club fails to pay some players and the SPL imposes a transfer embargo. The crisis at Hearts has escalated after the club was today unable to pay the wages of a number of players. Our reporter Heather Dewar is there for us this evening. Heather. Yes, the crisis does indeed deepen here at Hearts today. And the question now arises, just how much longer can the club go on for? Yesterday we heard the news that the entire first team squad had effectively been put up for sale. Today the players failed to receive their wages and now the SPL have hit them with a transfer embargo. Now I understand that Hearts are accepting of this embargo. I also understand that there has already been interest from both the English Premiership and English Championship in four Hearts players since that announcement was made. So where does it leave the club now? Well, it seems they are well and truly running out of options. It was the scenario Hearts players were dreading. Well, some people are desperately trying to stop that hole from deepening. In just under half an hour's time here at Tyne Castle, the Foundation of Hearts Group will meet with fans to discuss their plans to buy the club. I understand tickets are totally sold out. There will be around 340 people in attendance, and that includes staff from Hearts as well. It seems the fight may not be over quite yet. Back to you, Jackie. Thank you very much, Heather, you're there. Still no word here yet in Inverness as to whether manager Terry Butcher will accept the vacant manager's role at Barnsley. We know that he met with the club in England yesterday for a couple of hours before resuming talks with them once again this morning. Butcher is very much Barnsley's main target and they're confident, we understand, the talks went well. Butcher, though, arrived back in Inverness this afternoon, and as we find out, he was unwilling to comment at all on the situation. No, I'm sorry, Heather, I'm not saying a word. But while women here in Scotland may be playing the game, are they actually watching it? Today, a survey is being launched by the Scottish Football Supporters Association. Well, the head coach says he's included a mix of the battle-hardened and indeed promising new talent to see how players step up to the challenge. 100 years down the tube. 100 years gone. For what? Well, just 20 years later, this is the club as we now know it, and they've well and truly cemented their place in the top flight. On Sunday, they're vying for a place in Europe. Ross County, their opponents, St Johnston, though, the side that could still pip them at the post. It's a real statement of intent that Ross County have made significant changes to the stadium here. Out of the two big hopes for medals today here at Barry Bud, and we have come away with one, a bronze medal for Jen McIntosh in the 50 metres rifle prone event. John Hammond disappointed he didn't qualify for the final in his event, but we do have more opportunities tomorrow. Well, another day of drama then in store for the fans, both sides sides hoping for a ticket to the next round. Fans meeting tomorrow night though should give them a clearer idea of what the Hearts Foundation is all about. He'll be making the bid and exactly what that will entail. It just sits really well at the minute. I'm really proud. Well disappointment then for the Hibs fans here tonight at Hamden. Their long wait for the Scottish Cup continues as for Celtic. Well it's the 36th time that they've won this competition. Their fans leave here delighted.